Welcome to a video on the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at the uh, Netgear Powerline Music Extender. So, this is a Powerline network Powerline extender. So, you plug one in into your router, you plug the other end uh, into a power socket, and then you can get network out of it. But what's different about this is it also has uh, a music extender built into it with USB. Uh, and there's a USB port on it as well. So um, we're going to have a look at what it can do. Um, there's apps for it as well. So from an Android app or from a, uh, an iOS app from your iPod or iPad or whatever, you can send music over your power line uh, from one power line adapter to the other and then put speakers in and then play music. So it's a great way of distributing music around the home as well as your network. So let's dive into it and have a look what it can do. So in the box, we've got the usual CD's instructions. So these are the two adapters, so we've got um, one that goes into your uh, main device, your, one that you plug into a plug socket next to your router and then you plug a cable from your router into this and then the other one has got the US, uh, USB output which you can use for music output and I'll show you how we do music as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug these in, get these paired up and then we'll give the music playback a try. I was just to say, in the box we get these cables, which are important in this case because, as well as the standard network leads, which we've got, there's this device, which is the USB to audio. So this end plugs into the adapter. This can plug into your music amplifier or whatever, you've got the phono and the mini jack. So you can run a mini jack cable in. So this is how you get the music output on there as well. And that's how it, obviously it's got a USB port to do the stuff like printing as well. So let's go and get the unit plugged in to my router first. So here I have the uh, router side connected up, so in my cupboard here. So that goes off to my router and I'll go and pair that up with the device upstairs. So I have my iPad, it's actually playing a video file and uh, as you see here, there's the AirPlay target, that's the um, the power line adapter, so if I press play now, you can actually hear the audio just going through to my speakers over there, um, but that's coming from this AirPlay video, so we should be able to do that with music, uh, podcasts, uh, anything you want to do, you can send the sound through to another device and I've got the USB cable plugged in from the power plug into my mixer. So another rare app here is the TDL podcast app, so anyone who doesn't know, we do a weekly podcast on the digitallifestyle.com. This is our app which shows all our posts and has our podcasts and I can play that now and that will play through... <laughs> Uh, there you go. We've got app news. So that's playing through the speakers. Link. So let me show you. We're talking about the updated how that works. For Windows, Windows RT, Windows 8, Windows RT. So I can touch, turn it down, and control it all from really here. Well. So you can use the music app as well. So this is using AirPlay. So here's the adapter uh, plugged in, and then I've got an extension here which I use for all my servers and bits and pieces. Uh, plugged into it. It does say in the instructions if you shouldn't have this at the end of a. Uh, a four block or anything like that, so you plug your four block into it. So that's going off to my laptop, and this is the USB cable, which over here, you see, is plugged into my mixer, which then goes through the speakers. So we've also got here a mini jack option as well, so that you could plug it into a lot of the uh, sort of iPod docking station type things as well. Another feature the device has got is you can turn it into a PC speaker. And for that you need some drivers, which I'm going to have a look at now. Basically the idea of this is it installs a, a virtual audio driver on your PC and then you can then pick the Netgear power, power line as an audio device. So you could, anywhere in the house, you could install this and then have music in anywhere else in the house. Because it's all done over the power line and over the network, so you don't have to be connected directly to the speakers. This is the sort of the management tool for it. So here you can see the end connector I've got to the router, and here I've got the one upstairs that's got the audio connected uh, via USB and the um, network. So that was the um, 
management tool, now I'm actually setting up the media tool so we can set up the audio playback on this device and uh, take a look at what we can do with it. Right, so here we have now the uh, USB control center. Um, I did have it trouble getting this installed earlier, well it installed fine but then it wouldn't run but uh, when you launch the control center through the CD installer here when you install it it actually prompts you to check for updates which I didn't, I just did from the CD so you should check for updates because I did that, it loaded, downloaded a new version which is working fine and here you can see that I've got the a device there available so I connect speaker so now I'm controlling this uh, USB audio device from this PC so you can hear there the sound coming through that is in fact the sound coming from this PC so what does it mean well it means that this PC which can be running over wireless I could be in the living room with this and the power line adapter could be in the kitchen with the cable plugged into a speaker in the kitchen I could then uh, send audio from here so like I, said, I could send audio from um, an iPad I could send audio from Android and I could send it from this PC so let's have a, an example and for size comparison I've got here my so there we are. Nexus 4 a YouTube video there that is on this machine and over the power line and then controlling that um, USB, what it thinks is a USB audio device on the network. So I could be in the uh, living room with my laptop, speakers could be in the kitchen connected to a power line adapter, don't need wireless or anything like that. I can just, I, I can do it over Ethernet. The laptop coming in wireless, the speakers don't need wireless because they're just connected into uh, via the USB cable into the um, audio device. Okay, just one other thing I want to show before we go is the music app, so I can play some music through iTunes. And then, I can choose that from there, choose the audio player. It takes a bit to sync up. That's synced up now. So as you can see in this video, we've used the Netgear power line adapter, one plugged in downstairs, router to the adapter, one up here, power socket. You can then plug it in USB devices here. I've used the audio cable, uh, which is this one here, so USB one end, I've used the RCA jacks, or you could use a MIDI jack to plug into an audio player. From then, from an iPad, uh, anything uses AirPlay, so Twonky Beam and Android would work as well. You can then send that music through here, through to your speakers. You can also do it from a PC as well and install the PC drivers. So it really gives you that flexibility to have an audio system, uh, low cost, uh, price for it, and links in the show notes, uh, simple to work, and kind of has that dual functionality as well. Like I said, you can share printers and USB storage as well. But I think the main thing is the music. Uh, you can take, plug this some, in somewhere, anywhere around your house, plug an audio device into it using these cables, and you've got an AirPlay audio, uh, an airplay receiver anywhere in the house even from a, a PC as well so you can send it through get a bit of audio going from your laptop from your iPad or from an Android device as well so pretty flexible pretty powerful system and of course it's doing network um, power uh, Ethernet over the power line as well so you can use it to connect two devices together can bridge networks where if you haven't got wireless it doesn't you know you can't do it or maybe wireless range doesn't work so really a lot of options with this um, it's the Powerline AV200, it's two, so two in one things, it does the music extending and it does your network extending as well. Thanks for watching this video, more videos on the digitallifestyle.com.